Hi, welcome to Kindle Most Wanted. I'm Robert Dagoni, the author of the Tracy Crosswhite series and My Sister's Grave. Today I'm here with Sean Cherkover, the author of The Trinity Game, which is going to be a trilogy, and with Andrew Kaufman, the author of Twisted. And we get to talk about things that we love to talk about, which are good books. And in particular, we're going to talk about mysteries and thrillers. And I'm going to ask these two gentlemen to start with, uh, tell me about a thriller, something that may be an older, older thriller, something that you read when you were younger that really kind of you know, you stayed with you for whatever reason. Well, for me, um, and I read this book probably every five years and get something different out of it every time I read it. I go back to 1984 by George Orwell, oh, okay. which a lot of people don't think of as a thriller, but it really is. It succeeds as a thriller and on every other level. It's just a beautiful book. Yeah, I agree. Great book. Andrew, how about yourself? Um, well, before there was Gone Girl, there was Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. Yeah. And I've always been a big fan of her books. Um, it's a very dark story which I enjoy so much. And um, it's kind of a eerie homecoming story um, where the lead character goes from a mental institution to her hometown to investigate murders. And um, it's very haunting and it stayed with me for a long time. I never forgot about it. Yeah, and, that, and that's really kind of what, what we all want, right? It's it sure that, is. Yeah. Bob, what about you? You know, I'm going to go a little bit outside the box, too. I'm going to go with a, a book that really influenced my writing and, and really made me want to be a writer, and that was A Count of Monte Cristo oh, wow. by Alexander yeah, Dumas. One. And uh, I remember reading that when I was in um, the seventh grade. Mm -hmm. And I remember just the adventure of it and trying to figure out the plot. I mean, how is this guy going to get out of this, this prison on the middle of an island? <laughs> and, and how is he going to get away? And how is he going to get even with everybody? And, and for me, that was really the fun of it. And I, and I knew right then that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to write those kind of stories. So, Sean, I'm going to put you on the spot. All right. Give me three adjectives for 1984 for a reader out there, if you had to break it down. Three adjectives. Okay. Um, chilling, enlightening, and double plus good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Andrew, give me three adjectives for uh, sharp objects. Artful, eerie, and suspenseful. Great. So, if I had to come up with three for um, A Count of Monte Cristo, I, I think I would say thrilling, um, Suspenseful and shocking. Okay, so let's let's transition now a little bit and let's think more modern type a uh, mystery. What about a what about a more modern mystery or thriller, Sean? For you, that um, well, in the last year, um, I was absolutely blown away by Natchez Burning by Greg Isles. Oh, Just yeah. a terrific book, and um, it it covers you know a span of forty years because there's a, a, a man who's the mayor of, of Natchez who's uh, trying to prove that his father, who's a well-respected doctor, didn't um, commit this murder, but his father won't speak up on his own, on his own defense. Oh. And it just, it, he starts digging into the secrets of the town, things that have been buried for 40 years, and it's beautiful. Great book. Yeah, I, I love books that have that, that, they go back in time and you get kind of everything back and forth. Yeah. Andrew, how about yourself? Um, into the Darkest Corner with Elizabeth Haynes. Um, also stayed with me for a lot of reasons. It was more about what wasn't said than what was, which is always the, what I consider to be great in books, is when you read between the lines and kind of feel the elements instead of actually being told. Right, right. Bob, so. Bob what about you? What do you uh, read recently? Yeah, I'm debating between three. Okay. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall back on the one that I think every lawyer turned writer falls back on, which is Presumed Innocent by Scott Turow. Oh, yeah. You know, I was heading to law school and, and I... I wrongly believed I could write a thriller while I was in law school. Uh, but I was so impressed with his ability to take a courtroom and make it interesting, make it exciting, uh, make it really life and death. And you know, everyone's nightmare, right? He's a prosecutor, has an affair with a, a woman, now, you know, and then she ends up dead and he's accused of her murder. Right. And all these secrets starts coming out and he's really relying on the justice system mm -hmm. to get him off. And he knows all the, all the failings of the justice system. So it's just a, a great uh, book, you know, about conflict and about characters. That book really stayed with me and it really inspired me to be a writer. Have you got three adjectives for it? Boy, um, I, I, if I had to go with the, the three adjectives for presumed innocent, I would, I would say that uh, I was enthralled, that I was invested, and uh, for the third one, I'd probably say scared. Okay, Sean, I'm going to repay the favor. I'm going to put you on the spot. Give me three adjectives for Natchez Burning. Okay. Uh, three adjectives for Natchez Burning. Explosive, disturbing, and deeply moving. Wow. 
Yeah. Can't get much better than that. Yeah, it was a great book. Andrew, you got to top it. Um, Into the darkest corner. Three adjectives. I would say um, tense, edgy, and frightening in a very subtle way. Oh, good. Cool. All right, so there you have it. Six great recommendations from some best-selling authors. I'm going to thank Sean Cherkover, Andrew Kaufman, and I'm Robert Dagoni, and this has been Kindle Most Wanted. Thank you for joining us.